Hi guys, so for this video, we're going to discuss arithmetic operators. So in C language, we also have operators used, just like in your math. And these are the operators that we can uh, use in C language. Addition, which, which uses the plus symbol. Subtraction, the minus symbol. Multiplication, the asterisk symbol. And the division, the slash symbol and we also have an additional operator which is the modulo so the modulo operator is actually a remainder operator so when using these operators you would be requiring operands so in this case we have here a which represents the first operand and b for the second operand whenever you use addition it will always require two operands so not only in addition but also with the rest of the arithmetic operator so what's new here is that we have the modulo operator because uh, in addition we know that uh, if we add two numbers the result will be its sum subtraction its difference for multiplication its product and for the division its quotient but uh, the module operator it returns the remainder for example we are going to use the module operator so we, we would write it in this way an operand which is in this case 11 and 4 um, so this one is read as 11 modulus uh, 4 so the operation is actually division that's 11 divided by 4 but if you are going to use division, you would give an output of, I mean, a result of 2. But for the modulus operator, the result would be its remainder. So this one would result into a value of 3. Okay, so if you have uh, 12 modulus 7, its result would be equal to 5. Because if you divide 12 by 7, it would be equal to 1, but with a remainder of 5. So that's how modulo operator works. Okay, so to use these operators, we can simply use them the way we use our variables. So let us give an example in using our modulus operator. So remember, I mean the arithmetic operators. So remember, whenever you use these operators, you are dealing with numbers. So you can only use this one on uh, integers as well as float values. So let us give an example. So I'll be working on an integer. So what I have here is a, a placeholder which will compute for the uh, operation on 12 plus 6. So we know that 12 plus 6 is equal to 18. So 18 should be displayed on this placeholder. So when we run the program, you will have a result of 18. So that works the same as your uh, other operators. So if I'm going to write printf, so I have here a printf. Uh, another placeholder percent t so if i have used uh, slash n to display the value on the next line so the result would be uh, for this value it will be replaced by this operation so 12 times 3 which is 36 so when you run the program it will now display 18 and 36 So for modulus operator to test if we if it really uh, returns a value of 
the remainder value. So try to test it on our given example. So it would be question again, percent T, and then 11 modulus 4. So we are expecting a value of 3. So when we run again the program, you will have these results. Three. Okay. You can, uh, on this portion of the uh, of your printf, uh, of the arithmetic operations, you can actually use variables to that. So let us try in, uh, using an, a variable. So we introduce a variable. Let's just use integers first. So make sure that the variable is with a value of, let's say, 12. And then another variable with a value of 3. So we can actually substitute these variable names uh, instead of the, uh, the values, the exact values. So if we write we say var plus var1, it will actually compute for the values of variable 1, whatever the value is, and var2, and then add it, add it with, uh, and get, get the sum, then you will have the result of, will be displayed here. So in, this, in that case, you will have the result of 15. Okay, so when you run the program, the result will be, equal to 15. Okay. So you can actually use uh, the same variable in multiplying. For example, I want to multiply var2 with var2. Sorry. Uh, there's no space because when we declare the value here, there are, uh, there are no space. So in this in this example, you are trying to multiply the value of var two by the value of var two. So this var two is since var two is equal to three, then this would be the same as multiplying three by three. So it would have the result of nine. So you can see you have the value here nine. So for modulus operation or division, you can actually write uh, var 1 divided by var 2. Okay. So in the first on line 8, when I write, when I write the, the equation, I am using space as well as for uh, uh, 9. But the computer will ignore that one. So this one would mean as the same as with the space so they would mean just the same so it was it's it's just uh, looks good when when you have spaces so for line 10 what will be displayed here will be the quotient of bar 1 dividing divided by uh, bar 2 so if bar 1 is 12 divided it by 3 then you will have a value of 4 so when we run our program our result would give you give us the value of four. So if you have uh, a modulus operator, modulus operator, var one modulus var two. So you will be expecting a value of zero because there are no remainder when you divide um, 12 by 3. So when you run the program, it will exactly print a value of zero because there is no remainder. Okay. 